All right, we find the derivative of this function here, which is f of t equals e to the power t sine 2t. And what we're going to use is we use the chain rule. But there's also going to be some product rule here. Now, how does the chain rule work? We have y equals this outside function, I call it. Very imprecise calling it that. But anyway, it's e to some power. And I'm going to call that power, that, that very, I'm going to label that as u. Where, what's u? u is that part that I'm calling the inside. u is equal to t sine t, 2t. Okay, now, the chain rule says that first we take the derivative, all right, all right, first, let me write this down. To find dy dt, I first find the derivative of y with respect to the outside function. So I find dy du. That's sort of, I mean, that's, that's very easy. The derivative of e to the u is e to the u. But then I multiply by the derivative of u with respect to t. That's going to cause us a little bit of a thinking. And the reason is, is because uh, du dt is going to be found by using the, uh, by using the product rule. So here's d. Let me take this into pieces now. dy du is simply, I look above, it's e, the derivative e to the u is e to the u. Now, for dy dt, I'm going to have to look at this t sine t, and I'm going to use the product rule to solve that. I take the derivative t and multiply by, by sine 2t. And I see I don't have enough space either. Plus t sine 2t derivative. Okay, I'm going to find that derivative. Now, also, let me show you, I can do this. I'm going to be doing the same thing in a faster, using less notation after. I'm just, I'm sort of slogging through this to show all the steps, but I think I don't have to show all these steps in some ways. Okay, some I have to, but some not. Okay, the derivative of t is 1, then I multiply by sine 2t. Plus t, what's the derivative of sine t? Well, I have this formula, the derivative of sine t is cosine. So I write cosine 2t. But I use the chain rule again, because this is a composition of sine and the function 2t. So I have the derivative of sine is cosine, the derivative of 2t is 2. So that's quite a bit. It's sine 2t plus 2t cosine 2t. And I'm going to take those two and multiply them together. I'm going to take those, those, those two derivatives and multiply them together. I have the dy du is e to the u, and I have the dy dt is this longer thing right there. So that I get dy, hold on, I don't even know if I have enough space. I have dy dt equals e to the u. Well, oh, hold on, why don't I write down what e to the u is? Because u is um, t sine t. Then I multiply by sine 2t plus 2t cosine 2t. I could see someone really thinking this video is not a very good video, and I'll tell you why. Because usually people doing the, the chain rule, from what I see, just my own experience, what I'm doing, for a problem that's not that long, usually people don't write this dy du and all those things out. All right, so I have the answer. I have the answer right there. That is the answer. 
But I am going to come back and say, well, that's good, but typically we don't show all those same steps. So this right there is the answer. But let me show you how I would usually do this problem. I would just go over here and write f prime of t is what? Well, if I have e to any power, that's e to the u. And, and so when I take the derivative, I sort of just copy and paste that. Okay. Then I follow up by the derivative of the inside part. Now, for this first step, I'm going to leave it like that and just put derivative. That means I'm going to take the derivative on the next line. So this is, again, e to the t sine 2t, and it's important to write down each one again. And then I have the derivative of t. Then I multiply by sine 2t. I've done something that I really can't stand, which is putting, not allowing myself enough space and, and then creating a sort of a, I think it's like an artificial situation for myself that I that I'm feeling cramped and my notes get cramped. I do not like that. No, I do not. I think I made, I got something all mixed up there. Okay. So I, therefore, what I did is I made all that stuff smaller so I have more space. All right. So then I have T sine 2T prime. I'm just repeating, actually, what I wrote on the right. But anyway, I'm, this is the product rule. I'm just showing you what I would do usually that's quicker and in, 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 in fewer lines. So I have E t sine 2t, but this is sort of what someone might say is not explaining well because I'm making the problem seem so long. Okay, I took the derivative t as 1, and then I copy other stuff down. Then I have to copy down t, I have derivative sine 2t. The derivative of sine is cosine, so I write cosine parentheses 2t, but then I take the derivative of what's inside, of that. the derivative of 2t is 2. That little piece right there was the product rule. That little tiny piece was doing, not the product rule, that little piece was the chain rule. There was the larger problems, chain rule, then we got into product rule, and then a little chain rule. So this is a hard problem, right? So, I mean, let's just, I want to point that out. Same thing I wrote on the other side. Oh, brother. I, I don't, I would just, I wouldn't, I would just do this one that I'm showing here on the left. I wouldn't do both at all. Usually just the one I'm showing on the left. That's our answer. Okay, same thing. All righty, I showed a lot of stuff there. Okay, that's it for this video.